morning fam it's tasha i'm on bear prepping you know what time it is get your drink and pull up you can see we just got a little bit of caffeine i always tell my man you know that first sip of coffee look at it mm, it's like you're cheating on somebody something somebody mm, so good one more before we get into it, you guys. So welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So excited. Lots of growth lately. Thank you so much for all of you who are supporting me. I know a few of you have reached out to me and let me know that you're watching uh, my videos over and over and over to help me with my watch hours. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think we're at about 2,500 ish. The last time I looked, I need 4,000. Um, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a good one, you guys. This is a goodie today. So this has been on the books for a while, and it's a fun one. It's kind of like a, you know, shit hit the fan list, you know. Um, I keep revving myself right there, you guys. Um, but it's serious, okay? There's nothing not serious about this list, really, okay? But instead of just gloom and doom, we're going to just try to keep it fun. But um, basically, these are the things that can get you killed during a shit hit the fan um you know martial law rule you know no rule of law anything like that where like it's chaotic it's chaos outside um we'll just say just like the movies portray right like end of the world right um but some of this stuff it doesn't take a crazy event for it to kill you okay so i just want to throw these out here so that you can get your little brains thinking right we're all thinking about the things that we need to do to get up prepared and ahead of stuff right and if you kind of go through these things with me you'll see what i'm talking about so um things that will kill you during a shit hit the fan and really any kind of scenario for some of these okay so one is you know my pet peeve you guys no water so people die because simply um, they're somewhere where they can't access water they can't get to water they're out of water um, they're trapped in their homes because of marauders or whatever, and they've ran out of water and obviously you can't buy it anymore. And those type of people that don't know how to get water or procure water, they end up dying. Okay. Because you can only go a few days without water before your body starts to literally shut down. Okay. So number one reason people could die during a shit hit the fan is just no water. The second one kind of plays into that. You've got water, but they don't know how to make that water safe. So then they drink said water um, and then they get very ill and ultimately die because they're drinking um, bad water. Now, some water like that, you know, you'll just get very, very sick, very sick and be very uncomfortable. Um, but a lot of that leads to, depending on what it is you're drinking exactly, leads to death. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is dysentery. So you guys, this is a big one, okay? I did a video, I keep mentioning this stuff over and over because these are the things that I feel that are important, is your grid down toilets, right? Being able to go to the bathroom. Now in a grid sit down situation, I'm talking like long term, right? Like things are starting to go sideways. You're going to have people not understanding how to get rid of their bodily fluids um, properly and safely. And you're going to be having to maneuver in a world possibly where people are trying to get rid of that stuff. Either you're dealing with, you're having to walk through it to go somewhere, your animals that you're walking outside are having to walk through stuff. Um, people actually doing stuff outside, right? People using the bathroom outside, um, disposing of it, you know, uh, you know, the trash cans, you guys already know those fill up real quick. So overflowage of that backups of sewage lines and stuff um so just dysentery is a very very serious thing and we joke all the time with the kids like did you wash your hands you know they come up the bathroom did you wash your hands did you wash your hands it's a constant battle right but it's so important and they'll be like ah, you know i just went pee i just did no man you got fecal matter on you like you went into the bathroom you're touching stuff now like it, it's very bad. That's kind of just a kind of a joking way of, of talking about, you know, the spreading of poop and stuff. But um, dysentery is a very, very serious um, illness that can happen to you and can and you can die from, okay, when you get exposed to different things, very, um, bad things like that, okay? Um, next thing is um, I put 
what did I write right there? Oh, I put people, but I put trusting people. So you need to be very, very careful who you are of people in general, okay? Even me in a grid down, everybody's behind closed doors because it's sort of dangerous outside. Even me, um, I'm gonna be very wary of answering a door for anybody, even a police officer. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably opening the window upstairs like, what you want? What you need, sir? You know what I'm saying? Um, because in general, I don't trust people and definitely in any kind of situation like that, I'm sure as hell not trusting people, okay? Um, trusting people can get you killed. Trying to help somebody, seeing somebody on the side of the road that looks like, oh, that's just a little old granny or somebody, a lot of that is decoys. Like you just have to be careful trusting people. Neighbors, people come into you, can I get this? What are you doing? What do you got? Like I just, um, I'm, I'm not trusting the people, you guys. I, I, I would like to think that I am. And I think in a lot of times we, we try to be as human beings. I'm a Christian. Like obviously I want to be able to be a good person and trust people and help people. But baby, you got to use common sense and you can't help everybody. You you just can't, okay? And you just got to take that up with God, okay? But be very careful with trusting people, okay? Next thing is injuries. So very simple, getting hurt, there's no hospitals or maybe they're overrun, they're too full to help you um, and you get some sort of injury, you, somebody gets seriously cut in your home, um, a broken bone, um, just somebody gets very ill, okay? And you don't have the hospital to help set injury, okay? And people bleed out all the time for, for very simple. It just takes a cut in a certain part of your body and you bleed out, okay? So um, injuries, people will die from, from simple simple things, injuries, okay, that they that they do from everyday things, you know? Maybe you're, uh, it's grid down, whatever, you're doing some work on your roof and you fall down and you hurt your spine and then you die. Like you just, there's just all types of scenarios that can happen, you guys and you're not able to get and taken care of of from like at a doctor okay and then people ultimately die because they can't be seen or there's nobody in their surrounding area to help them okay next thing is kind of in the same field is infections so don't sleep on an infection that's why preppers try to get their hands on different types of antibiotics because infections are are deadly okay um something as simple as a double ear ache you know if you don't have antibiotics can leak into the rest of your body and make you ill, very, very ill. Um, you know, infections in your mouth, um, infections in your body, and you don't have the right medicines anymore to be able to just nip that in the butt. Um, you know, untreated certain infections can lead to um, death, okay? So it's just very important to just keep yourself as healthy as possible, to be careful as, as possible. You know, if there's no hospitals and stuff, you need to be careful with what you're doing and then you need to think about that when you're doing your preps. When you're prepping medical supplies and medical uh, medicines themselves, um, you need to be thinking about that and trying to get your hands on the right stuff. Even herbal stuff. If you're not into you know, pills and stuff like that, there's a lot of herbal stuff. We've been getting, I'm really interested in, in um, herbal and plants and flowers and the different things they can that they can help you with and making tinctures and there is I'm learning so much stuff about just basic flowers and plants that um, are natural antibiotics you guys this is the stuff that these big you know pills and big medicines come from so if you get smart with um, that type of stuff that's another level of defense that you can get um, your skills and knowledge up on so that you could utilize that should, you know, somebody in your family has an infection and you need to fight it off with some sort of antibiotic, okay? So good stuff. Um, next thing, I've got three more, you guys. So one more is um, bugging out. So just know that I'm not telling you not to bug out, but just know that the variables go up much higher once you bug out and what the situation looks like outside when you bug out to your location. And so you have to be careful because people people are gonna get hurt just trying to get to said location or people just trying to get home, um, okay? Because there's gonna be people, again, trusting people, people that want the stuff that you have. People just panic. That's what human beings do, especially the ones that aren't prepared. They're gonna panic and you're gonna have normal human beings that maybe 
are law-abiding and good citizens on a daily basis but as soon as you put that type of person that isn't prepared though into a chaotic situation they they change okay because that that survival thing kicks in in them okay and they and that makes them feel like they need to do certain things okay so you got to be careful um when you're when you're bugging out okay uh, next thing is looting and thieving. So again, this is like people wanting stuff. So you have to be careful. You have to be able to protect yourself, protect your home um, from looting and thieving. And when people make you a target that they're going to take something from you or try to get into your home to take something, you have to be careful because depending on what decisions are made, people die. Okay. And the goal is that it's not you. All right. And that's as far as I'm going to go into that one. But um, looting and thieving, you have to be careful, all right? Whether you're the one doing it, you're taking a chance if you're out there trying, thinking you're going to loot something and steal from people, okay? And then they're taking a chance if they think they're coming in here trying to take something, okay? So just, it goes both ways. And then the last one is just being where you don't belong, okay? Like if you don't belong in the neighbor's house stealing something or whatever, don't be up in there. Don't be nosy. Don't be like, oh, I wonder if they left or they're still here. Don't do that. Because what if they're doing gray man, baby, and they shoot you all up because you you being nosy, okay? Don't be where you're not supposed to be, okay? If something's going on, stay home, okay? If it's chaotic on the roads, stay home. I'm not saying that you're going to get killed if you're out on the streets, but why would you be out there? Every time I see looting, like this last summer when all the looting was going on and this and this... Uh, in the streets and like in the cities and they were burning stuff down and they were looting and they were just in the streets crazy and people were getting hit with with rocks and boards and molotovs and all types of stuff right and my only thing was like why are you all out there why and then people were getting hurt wondering why they're hurt people were getting beat to death why are you out there you have no business being out there don't be out somewhere where you don't belong okay just period, right? Most of you watching this are a normal citizen like me. You are a normal human being like me who's just trying to survive and keep your family safe. And guess where you don't belong? Out on them streets acting crazy, okay? I get rights and all that stuff, but some of that stuff, baby, that was happened last summer didn't didn't uh, make any sense anyway with what why they were out there and what they were doing. Zero sense, okay? So we won't get into that, but just... These are the things that I'm tracking that like, hey, I think about these are the ways that you could get killed during a shit hit the fan. I would love to hear in the comments below uh, what you think I missed. Uh, something that you think will get you killed real quick, okay, and get you hurt. Um, let the group know. Let us know because, again, we, we're all learning from each other, okay? Ain't nobody on here know everything. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.